Hi and welcome to our cooking show, Fizzy Fruits. I am Stephanie Collins. And I am Maria Martinez. And today we will be making some Fizzy Fruit drinks that contain oranges, cantaloupe, honeydew, and grapes in water and macaroni and cheese. We will be demonstrating how the use of the endothermic and exothermic reactions take place in everyday cooking. For our special fizzy fruit drinks, I begin by slicing our various fruit for maximum surface area during our freezing period. Okay, so this is our bowl of completely sliced fruit and we are going to grab our dry ice and stick it safely with this into there and then layer it with fruit. Okay, so here we have our dried ice and we're going to place the fruit on the ice so that it can start carbonating the fruit. As Stephanie layers the dry ice with fruit, an exothermic reaction is taking place. The liquid within the fruit begins to freeze and become solid. Its energy is now transferring into the dry ice. This transfer is con causing an endothermic reaction in which the solid goes directly to being a gas. This process is known as sublimation. We call this fizzy fruit because here our dry ice is releasing carbon dioxide on contact with the fruit. Okay, our fruit now is the same um, temperature as our ice, which is about 110 below zero degrees Fahrenheit, and we will be sticking it into our oven. We have created a fun substitute for ice cubes using slightly carbonated pieces of fruit. The condensation on the outside of this glass is due to an exothermic reaction that occurs in the gas molecules surrounding the cup. And this cold drink is perfect for the outdoors, especially during the summer and spring, as you can see. We will now be making macaroni and cheese. So now we're going to boil the water and when you turn on the stove the open flame is an example of an exothermic reaction because it is releasing its heat into the pan which will heat up the water causing it to boil. The high temperature being applied to the water is causing it to boil. This is an example of an endothermic reaction. In this endothermic reaction, the solid butter is melting due to incoming heat from the surrounding macaroni. And here is our final product of mac and cheese. Cleanup is always an important part of cooking. Alright, this um, concludes our show, and right now we will describe what a calorie is and how many we had in our meals today. A uh, calorie is defined as the amount of energy required to increase the temperature of water by 1 degree Celsius. And um, today our mac and cheese contained 400 big C calories, and that translates into 400,000 little C calories per serving. And um, the apple from the mixture of fruit uh, contains 70 big C calories per serving and 70,000 little C calories. Um, our cantaloupe melon had 10 <laughs> big C calories, so that's 10,000 little C calories per serving. Uh, the honeydew melon had 80 big C calories per serving and 80,000. Our drink today had, had 80,000 calories, little C calories per serving. Um, the orange in our drink had 85 big C calories and 85,000 little C calories. And, yeah, that concludes That's it.